was the nature of Jason's injury and how was he doing after the game? Oh, he's had injury. Um, and uh, he said he's feeling better. We'll see from there. Why do you think you guys ha had trouble in some of those goal-to-go situations in this game? I'm sorry? Why do you think you guys had trouble in goal-to-go well, situations? You know, they... Um, that's a physical downhill defense. Um, you know, it's... The closer it is sometimes, as you watch in football, some days it's it's diffi difficult. They, they had a run through on the one. Um, yeah, it's an area that uh, we need to be better, and they were the better team today when it came to those situations, um, until I really look at each and every situation. For you guys, just in all three phases, how do you feel like you guys played all three phases? Not good enough to win, obviously. Um, you know, and you know, we... You score 13 points, and, and to, you know if if you look at it from, if you hold people to 16 points, you think you can win some games, okay? So that that's one area that we we didn't um, didn't do well. I thought we battled hard the second half. I think it's uh, we didn't give our, you know, they came out the more aggressive team on both sides of the ball, played downhill, were more physical than us. Um, and never we never gave our crowd a chance to really get into the game until the second half. All that being said, I still think we battled and we found a way to, to tie it up with under a minute to go. But we don't. But uh, obviously, credit them for driving down the field. Um, you know, special teams wise, I mean, we you know we we make our field goals. And I don't, I don't know if there's a, a ton there in special teams. I defensively, I thought uh, especially the first quarter, Texas Tech dominated us in the run game. But then I think if you look at the second half, I don't know what the I'd like to see the first half, second half comparison. You know, tomorrow I'll probably take a look at that. But you know, I thought our defense really responded well when challenged and and, and found ways to get stops. You know, and uh, offensively. You know, I don't know if we ever fully got in sync today. You guys talked a lot about Cole mm -hmm. Camp. Yeah. What what stood out to you about what he did today? Uh, just about what I thought he'd do. Compete his tail off and he wouldn't flinch and he'll give you everything he has. He's uh I don't think he ever had that deer in the headlight look about him where he was gonna it would, the moment was too big. Um you know. That locker room really likes Cole Ballard, and they have for a long time. And uh, it's it's his makeup, it's in his DNA, and uh, he's going to be a fine player here. You talk about not having the deer in the headlights. Like, how impressive is that for a guy playing mm -hmm. his first college yeah, staff? Yeah, you know, you don't know. We've been battling because we're, you know, we're – we were hoping to redshirt him, you know, and now it's three games and, you know, last week was one snap and we're sitting there trying to decide when, you know, are we going to put Ben Easters in or something for one play and, but Cole just stays ready and, and, uh, but he's been that way. Um, you know, his, his football upbringing has, has prepared him to stay ready and uh, that has been very, very evident. On the last play where Devin through yeah. the ball. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through what the call well, was on know, the sideline of yeah, the process? Yeah, it was going to be like we're like we're like we're going to try to run. We're going to we're going to hopefully get them all to to, to bait in. And he's going to try to throw it. It's again a. Uh, um, much like many situations with us, even a week ago, we we wanted we wanted to be aggressive and go win the game. That was the whole mindset. We're going to find a way. Um, obviously, when they don't work, we can always talk about you know. Ten other options we could have had, other things you could have run the ball and run the clock down. We could we we could have them all, but uh, our thing was we we're going to go get a touchdown, and uh, didn't work. Um, from my angle, it's hard to say what what was there or not, so I'm not going to give any other uh, other you know um, thought on that right now. Um, my attention went to the field goal and then and then onward to the kickoff and us trying to get a stop. I guess then on the, the last drive, what kind of went wrong that allowed Tex Tech to move the ball? Well, again, you know, well, they make a real good catch on the boundary. I don't know. If, I'm, I, I didn't see enough of a replay if he pushed for separation. Um, you know, um, we're close on one. A guy just didn't get quite turned around enough, I think, on one of the intermediate throws. Um, yeah, it's it's that old, you know, it wasn't like, hey, let's play really soft and let's let, let them, you know, think it down there. It wasn't it, but 
um, obviously it wasn't wasn't enough. When you talked about the defense in the first half or first quarter at least being dominated. Just the response there. How I guess impressed were you that they responded and yeah, that type of performance? You know, it, it obviously um, probably for all of us it wasn't. Uh, you know, it was pretty probably frustrating and disappointing and all the other things. But then all of a sudden, you look up and you're you're. It's only a ten point deficit, so you're hanging in there. And there's some things happening that gives you a chance. So, um, found a way. I think it was it was the interception, the missed field goal, possibly, or or stop. So I, even even those things, we we just kept finding ways to to hang in there and. Uh, find some solutions and and get accustomed to what they were going to try to do in some things and I thought I thought we played you know again I said second half stats maybe, maybe we should look at the last three quarters versus the first quarter and and uh, so um, but as I told the team um, we went and lose together and there's a lot of things there that, that that needed it wasn't one last drive it was red zone touchdown opportunities it was missed stops early in the game and it was missed stops late in the game and everything else in between losses obviously happened but you guys seem to have elevated yourselves to a, to a point where you expect not to deal with them what's the mood in there yeah disappointment but i i think matt at the same time maybe it, it's a it's a good reminder that you know we're we're not completely there okay and you got to be there all the time I and mean, from the opening kick and i i don't think we had a a bad week of of uh preparation or guys were like yeah we you know whatever i i you know i can't you know we'll we'll review that again tomorrow on what we thought but um there's just some things execution wise and some other things and you know, we said it early in the week. Now that they're getting a little healthier over there, they're getting some people back, and they're getting a little more rhythm. And you know, that's not a. I mean, I said you know, that was a, that was a team many spoke highly of, and and they lost some close ones early. So don't be fooled by the record either. And, and with Cole, what what's available? How much do you have to? Pair down the the, the playbook you know, and, and kind of. Um, you know, I, I've never heard Andy or Jim say, "Hey, we got to pare this down." But obviously, by repetitions, there's some certain things that that we're not going to probably run is based on, you know, what he's really got a chance to do. Um, but like I said, uh, uh, he's impressed everyone with retention of information. Um, time and studying when he's in in meetings with Jim or with Andy on game plan um, our walkthroughs all of that I, you know um, so that part wasn't uh, I, I don't know if it was um, completely like hey we can't do this mm -hmm. is it pretty apparent that he's the son mm -hmm. of a NFL GM and has the no doubt yeah no doubt you know you know, his father, Chris, and I told him, he told us that uh, really about, you know, we talked about a couple different times that, that, that you know, Andy Reid, had, you know, told Chris, get, get him around, get him around the game, get him around the locker room, get him around the opportunities, you know, as, as uh, being in this profession, we miss a lot of our own kids' activities, and there's pluses and minuses that, that our children get, and, and there are some pluses of experiences. And sometimes in these cases, Cole's had the opportunity to be around it, and that's why I said that's why the moment wasn't too big. Okay, and he and he's had the opportunity to be around a lot of a lot of quality people, and uh, yet he stay you know he keeps his feet on the ground. He doesn't you know he's a yes sir no sir guy and. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, as his father told me, don't you don't you won't have to worry about him, and and uh, and he'll be ready to go for you. And and uh, I've known his father for over thirty years, and uh, there was a reason that uh, when when things kind of changed for us a year ago, I wanted to make sure we got Cole in our program. It, it, it. Get about this one and start looking forward to well, Kansas State. Yeah, because well, we had made a. We, we're going to practice tomorrow. We, we've made a made a change, and, and we had, and it wasn't by outcome for some multiple reasons. Um, so the and uh, 
win or lose, it was going to be good because we we're going to turn the page pretty quickly as we get ready for defending conference champs. So we're going to make sure that we, we do that and we're going to see how this team responds. From, from year one to now, how much progress and growth have you seen from your team in this program in the will to compete despite the score or circumstance of the game? Yeah, um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I, I think start of the, you know, the way the first half went, I think especially first year, it would have probably doubled or tripled by the end of the game, you know, the deficit. I, I don't think we had that, that, that quite in us of when things weren't going well. Um, I think we have continued to show that we'll we'll play, you know, 60 minutes and keep battling. And you know, here, here we were thinking we're going to get that thing in overtime, and you know, see where it goes. But um, that part is um, is encouraging because they know anything can happen if we just keep pounding away on things. And uh, so we've come a long way. But as I also told them, we, you know, sometimes. Uh, when success happens, we we tend to really, and I think it's it, it's understandable, but this place has been starving for it for so long. I don't know if we're quite getting all the steps in in line yet. We want to go all the way over to here and start talking about things that aren't even possible yet, and a lot of things. And we've got to make sure that we're A, B, C, D all the way through. We want to go A to D right away sometimes here. We've got to make sure we get there, and that's my responsibility, and today I failed. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.